dun 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 Hello and welcome to the news at when. When now? I'm Margaret Kuda and today I will be taking you through Australian history in episode 46. Top story tonight is on a certain Mrs. Cheltenham who lives on 68 Blueberry Lane, Melbourne. She was robbed late last night by a notorious group of bushrangers. We are joined at the scene by Shelley Stiletto. Take it away, Shelley. Thank you, Margaret. I'm Shelley Stiletto here at the scene of the crime. Well, late last night, Miss Cheltenham was robbed by the notorious bush ranger gang, Cash and Co. Led by Mr. Martin Cash, who had been on the run for several months now, they infiltrated her home in the dark of night and stole her precious jewelry, along with the remains of her husband. Now, this is an interview that we conducted earlier this morning. This is a frightened house where one Mrs. Cheltenham got robbed last night. Our set, the news at when, when, now, have got an exclusive interview with the victim, which we conducted earlier this morning with our cameraman, Ben Paul, as the question asker. Thank you for joining us, Mrs. Chilton. Oh, no, it's no trouble. I watch your news show every time it's on the telly. Thank you for your praise. Now, could you please recount the events of last night? Oh, well, it was a bit past midnight, and I was in bed sleeping, as you do, and I heard this rattling noise in, in my drawers, and I didn't know what was wrong. And then they were running, and I heard a slam, so I got out of bed. Well, it wasn't exactly fast, considering my age. And, oh my, my jaws have been stolen. Everything. And it, it was certainly, it was a terrible sight. And I could, there was no one there, there was no one there when I, when I got up. What the hell? Okay, could you look, please describe the perpetrator's appearance of what you know and also describe any other objects he might have stolen? Well, there were, there were three people. I can't remember what the two others were, but one of them was very tall and he was wearing a very big hat that had a very large white beard. And the other thing he stole from me was, uh, well, my husband's ashes. Very peculiar. Well, this will help the inv investigation anyway. Now, back to you, Shelley. But what will become of this Mrs. Cheltenham, knowing that the, her husband's ashes are in someone else's hands? Tune in next week for... Wait, 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 This is not a dramatic TV show! Well, I was hired to do a dramatic voice. You know what? Just, just get on with it. Thank you, Miss Cheltenham. I've been Shelley Saletto, and this has been the news that went. When? Now, back to you, Margaret. Thank you, Shelley. Here are some interviews that our cameraman got from the scene today. Oh, excuse me, miss. Oh, Is it you who lives across the road there? Yeah, that, that's me. I, I would like to interview you about the crime that occurred here last night. Oh, you mean Miss, miss Cheltenham? Yes, I do. Oh, well, you see, I live across the road there, as you can probably tell. And, well, late last night, I think it was about 1.30 in the morning, I saw, I heard a noise right across there. Some something was going on so I went to the window looked out and there was someone coming out of the house and I just I just didn't know how to react I raced across the road but I didn't get him and I was still in my nightdress oh my god how shocking for I you I know it was, it was simply terrible <sighs> excuse me I need to be on my way okay bye bye excuse me miss might I have an interview I'm a 
unemployed just across the road there. But I have nowhere to live, so I sleep in the tree outside Miss Cheltenham's house. And now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the program, the Bush Ranger Breakdowns. Martin Cash was born in Ireland to George and Margaret Cash. He continued to live in Ireland and worked as a farm boy in Wexford until he clashed with the law for the first time when he was convicted of housebreaking in 1827. He shot through a window at a man who was embracing his said mistress. He turned to a life of crime because he thought that the law and the police were wrong and decided to cause them more trouble by becoming a criminal. He stole cattle, robbed homesteads, inns and travellers, murdered a man, and was convicted of housebreaking. He operated mainly in New South Wales, but he also operated in Tasmania and Melbourne. The police will have a warrant for his arrest. This has been the news at when, when, now. I'm Mark Akuda. This TV show is completely community funded, so keep sending your donations in, or we'll be cancelled. Thank you for watching. Good night. Story today is of a certain Mrs. Cheltenham who lives on 68 Blueberry Lane. She was robbed right late last night at her house. And we had jobs and we had blast. Watching the news at when? When? Now. This is a community funded TV program. So keep sending your donations in. Although, I'll let the. Or we'll. Oh. What are you looking at?